Joe, Gage, Max, and Joe. Gage, Max, Joe, Gage, Max, Gage, and, Joe. Max and Joe. YouTube live show with Gage, Max, and Joe. Another fight up and ready, fight up and ready to go. Gage, Max, Gage, Max, and Joe. Gage, Max, Joe, Gage, Max, and Joe. Gage, Max, Joe, Gage, Max, Gage, Max, Max, and Joe. YouTube live show. Back with another episode out of system here. Nothing is nothing to see here. I just uh just in my part-time job, I actually uh I build dams for saltwater crocodiles in the land out under here. So I have mm -hmm. all my gear. As you can see, I'm a construction uh construction seawater waterman. But I'm stupid lit right now because my boy over here is Joe's birthday. Joe. Have a freaking birthday. Thank you. I it's your birthday, it. baby. It's your birthday. <laughs> Who's going to love you on your worst day? Gage loves to just. It's his birth. It's Joe's birthday. So Gage is just going to let Joe be the center of attention, act super yeah. conservatively, not wear anything crazy, just act yeah. super normal. Let Joe <laughs> have all the attention. <laughs> it's your day, man. I just. I, this is how I normally dress. This is. It's every day, bro. Uh, but Joe, how, what, 23 years old. How you feeling? 20. Three. Yeah, I feel about that. I feel like an old man. No, I'm kidding. I'm not that old. So I don't know. I like birthday. Obviously, when you uh, when you get older, birthdays aren't really like super crazy or anything. So it feels more normal, like a normal day. But the one thing I did do today is wear my favorite T-shirt. Set up. Set up. I don't want either of you to say where this T-shirt is from because. I'm going to do something special here. I didn't even tell these guys I was going to do this. Ooh. If anybody right now can DM our out of system account and tell me where this shirt is from, which movie this shirt is from, I'll Reference. send you, I'm going to send you a gift to your uh, address. So what anybody. Kind of secret. No, it's, it's secret. It's, it's, uh, it's uh, gear. It, it, it's some cool gear that I'll send you. Oh, wow. You got to go tell me which movie this is from. This is from my favorite movie. So anybody who. Classic Those so has listened to uh, other shows and stuff might know what my favorite movie is, but you got to go figure out where this is from. Whoever DMs out of system first, they're getting it. A little reverse birthday, actually. Uh, so, so Joe, I'm cooking you dinner tonight. I, I'm going to give you two options here. I'm going to give you ribs and cream chicken. Two things I've never cooked in my life before. That, as soon as you say that, I know that you're I know that's Dude, sure. I am cooking. Mom's cooking that. Yeah, that's, no, 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 I am cooking. Yeah, just making you something. No, no, no. All right. No, if I'm, I make one Those thing, are two dishes my mom makes a lot. So Dude, you say creamy chicken? chicken? Creamy, creamy chicken. chicken. Oh, okay. Cream chicken. Cream chicken. Not creamy chicken. <laughs> okay. right. Max, you dirty boy. You got to calm down here. Um, <laughs> okay. So we had an idea here, or, or I guess, was it both of our ideas? We are like, okay. It's Joe's birthday. We got to bring on people who can tell funny stories about Joe because it's all about Joe here today. All about Joe. Um, so what I plan to do, and I was like, okay, we should do this. So my father in the club, we played for a uh, pack rim, Pacific rim. And we were really, really tight with that team. And we still are really, really tight with that team. And they're still very prominent. Those players are still very prominent in the volleyball world right now. So I was like, okay, you've seen a lot of the Hawaii guys. Let's see what Joe was like in high school. Let's see, like he was like as a teammate, because trust me, I've been a part of both those when it was in college and high school. Very different people. Joe is very, very different from when he was in high school to college. So we're gonna be bringing on in guests. Which way? I want to hear in which way. Okay, you were you were, you were less boys in high school. I'll say that less you, boys. Yeah, yeah, like like uh, because um, I because I drove your ass, dude. No, 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 not on the court. I'm talking about off the court. Like you were up tight. Yeah. When it talks about all, Be, because so, you were always doing dumb stuff, okay, getting but, us in trouble. Okay, no, 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 no. Always for example, when it comes, like for example, like you were like, uh, you were less mature. Like all your, there's all your, a result because you were less mature in high yeah, school. But, so when you became more mature, then I wasn't on your ass all the time. No, no, all I'm saying stuff. is, all you talk about is is girls now. But back then, you're like, oh, Joe, Gage, stay away from That's girls. Not all yes, I yes, it was. You were so invoiced when it came to that. When you guys talk like this, when you guys have a conversation like this, I mean, I feel like. I'm the therapist. You guys are just in here just <laughs> discussing here. Gage is just ranting about a problem. Gage, you, know, you were flying all, along. All I talk about is volleyball out of system. <laughs> and then oh, I always okay. try to help my boys out, you know. Oh, uh, <laughs> in, in the off season, it's <laughs> okay about. for them to. 
<laughs> help him out. That is that is a quote right there. Help my hell out over here. Just because your birthday, I'll stop arguing. But we'll be getting guests on the show from his club team. Trust me, they have very funny stories. Prepared them. I was like, give me your embarrassing, it was funny story, and get on here. Let's let's talk show. Let's talk volleyball. So with our first guest on the show, Mr. Avery Aylesworth. All righty, joined here by the flavor. Liz Chicken, a.k.a. Avery Aylesworth, a.k.a. Flavor Flav, ex-Loyola men's volleyball libero, the greatest libero to come out of University of Loyola. Here we are, Avery Aylesworth, now plays, was playing last year in Finland in professional league. Avery, we are pumped to have you on this show. Thanks, boys. feel so, honored to be uh, part of the crew right now. So, so a little background one more time. Avery played with us our 18s year. You know, he was tired of kind of getting beat by a pack for him, you know, throughout <laughs> the years. And he's like, you know what? So he joined us our 18s year. What a, what a natty chant. You know how it is. Team with Joe here. So I brought you on to kind of tell some embarrassing stories of Joe, kind of uh, some funny wait, stories wait, of Joe. Wait, first, I, I didn't know Gage was going to be doing that. But for the, <laughs> fact, the fact that you made your name Flavors like Chicken just made all of our names. <laughs> oh, <so. laughs> that's, the, that's the nickname we made for him. Don't ask us why. Don't ask us how we got <laughs> Yeah, I still don't know why that became a thing. I think it's because we went to a wing stop in bef between uh, our double day practices. Dude, I remember, I remember you would always be, on, you would always be on me about because you're a very healthy eater. I'm sure you still are, especially as a professional athlete. And uh, you, you would always be on me. We were totally opposite. Like I would just be like, let's go to wing stop, and you'd be like, Gage, Chick Fil A, like, do I got, that. I gotta go like, eat the whole menu. That'd be Gage. Gage wants to go eat the whole menu at Chick Fil A. It yeah, Gage is like on the like in the bathroom, like on the toilet, like five minutes before practice starts. He's just like trying to digest a whole like wing stop, like ten piece and a Chick Fil A burger. <laughs> Dude, I had to, I remember sometimes I had I was in I was doing server seat, and I was like uh oh, and I had to sprint across the gym to go to the bathroom to interrupt a drill because I was just exploding coming out. Gage like Big West, he took that pre workout. Oh wait. That's a, that's a story for another time. We'll tell a story for another time. But anyway. He <laughs> almost pooped two. himself really okay. <laughs> nice. I'll tell you that story later. I'll tell you that story later. All right. We're here for Joe. Enough about me. Avery, what was your experiences playing with Joe? I mean, what, I mean, what comes to mind? I well, think I've always Joe. been uh, a lot. The first time I ever met Joe was just getting my, uh, my butt handed to me by Pac Rim. I think it was my 16th year or 17th year. So that was kind of my first interaction with you guys. Uh, but no, probably my favorite, most embarrassing memory of Joe actually was on his birthday, his 18th year. Oh. And I we're running double days. Up. We're running double days. And <laughs> Joe, for some reason, just like, is just being a smart ass <laughs> in practice. <laughs> and so Roger is just not having it at all. So he like just rips Joe a new one. And then sends him out of practice on his birthday. <laughs> Dude, he was yelling at me. Happy birthday. So anybody who – Roger's my dad. That's our dad. <laughs> and he was our coach. And, yeah, it was there was a drill. And I was just not having it. There was so – like, he was pissing me off. So I was just not having it. And he's, he makes me go coach on one. And he's yelling at me. He's like, oh, okay, birthday boy. You want to <laughs> yeah. keep talking? He just yelled at me. He's like, oh, look, everybody, look at the birthday boy. He just kept yelling that. That's yeah, I remember that, that like horrible. vividly. That's like seared into my brain of just like watching Joe almost die on his birthday and then getting sent out of practice. <laughs> he, did the, he did the same thing when I was 13 years old. I remember my dad, he blocked me on my 13th birthday. Turns, he's like, happy birthday, son. And then just back and, start <laughs> and, get back and forth. But um, I'm just out of curiosity, have you ever been, I mean, I would like to think that uh, our relationship with our father, especially my brother's relationship with my father, is very unique. Have you ever been a part of that relationship or, or, or on a team? Have you ever seen that kind of relationship like kind of emulated in other, in other teams or no? Is it just kind of uh, one of a kind? From like a father-son perspective, um, I mean, cause my dad coached me in a lot of sports, right, like right. in baseball. So like we had like that sort of connection. But with you guys, it's, it's very different because you two are polar opposites. Right. Like 100%. Like I'm, Pretty sure Roger's just kind of given up on trying to control you, Gage. But you know, it's a show. You still have some hope. <laughs> no yeah. Some direction. Exactly. Well, Gage exactly. has no direction with. So, so, so fun. a lot of our stories, 18s here. So, 
I'll, I'll admit something. So when I was in high school, sometimes I would be known to go to Chinatown in San Francisco and buy some fireworks. <laughs> right, um, yeah, air quotes. Multiple, sure. <laughs> multiple, <laughs> multiple bags of fireworks. Um, I remember our eighth year with Joe and all of us, we would go and just light up fireworks throughout the whole time in safe environments, in safe environments. Um, and we'd just be safe right environments. in parking <laughs> lots. So parking lots, exactly. Yeah. Do you remember, our, do you remember, were you there for that last night together when we were together, that last night when we uh, set it off at a Campo parking lot or no? Maybe. I remember the one that we did set off. Um, we set it off from the inside of my car. Or what? Really close no, to the we inside did of my not. Car. Yeah, or it was like really, really close to it. And then uh, we heard like pops <laughs> coming down. And so we're like, guys, everybody get in the car. Get in the car. Like, I was like, the only person old enough to drive because like all the other guys were from Clovis. So it's like Pat, Gage, and uh, I think like Seven or Akash. And then we have like this mortar like uh, mortar tube just smoking up smoking. inside of my car. I can't even see. Just like whipping up around a hill. And uh, yeah, I was probably one of the more memorable 18 Dude, moments. Dude, that was like our weekends every day. Every when week. people ask about team culture, like team bonding, like they're, they're, I don't, I can't recall like any other team that I've been a part of where they, like, they can they match that. explosives to bond. No, that can match <laughs> the extremeness of our team bonding. Every weekend, we would just do, we would just come up with something more dumb to do. <laughs> like, we just come up with more and more dumb stuff to do every single It's week. because this is the reason why, Avery. I mean, you came up and you played with us some, uh, uh, and what would happen in the summers, like you said, we had double days. So we practiced every single day. And so what would happen, we'd have 14 guys staying at our house. So that, and just the personalities on that team is just something else. And Joe at that time, so Joe now is kind of like a, a it's kind of a, kind of a lot wilder, but back then he was a lot more strict. I mean, uh, more yeah, Joe's considered a wild child now compared yeah. to the person exactly. he is today. That's what I was talking about. All right, we had that argument. Is Joe different when he was in high school? Is he a lot different uh, right now? Has he changed a lot when he got to college and now? I would say he's a wild child. Like when we were in Barcelona Thank together, you. you just just wilding day in, day out. <laughs> Christmas morning. Just going what nuts. happened? Do you have any crazy stories? Uh, look, tell us about getting it incredibly detailed about Christmas morning. Let's hear about Christmas morning. Well, no. So, for those of you who don't know, we were able to link up a bunch of us old pack room guys and a couple of other friends that were playing in Europe. So, uh, it was Mecca Ma'a from France, Jordan Ewer, who was playing in Ibiza, then Joe, obviously, was in Germany. I was in Finland. Then we had two of our friends that came down. One of them was K.O. Fay from London, and then my friend Gabby from Loyola, who's from Poland. So we all met up in Barcelona for Christmas. And, um, yeah, Joe was basically our tour guide the entire time. He set up little tours for us, which clubs to go to, where to go dancing on Christmas morning. And uh, I'll never forget this because it was just so reminiscent of our 18th year. It was Jordan, Joe, myself, and Micah. So all, like, four full-grown men. <laughs> I love it. And we had to share, like, the tiniest – Pull out couch. Pull out that was couch. split in two. So I was like slipping through the cracks <laughs> between Micah and Joe. And Jordan's just passed out in his bo- like his boxers only. Joe's in his boxers. <laughs> Micah's just trying to go to sleep or watch some video. And Mike I'm, like, is naked. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So like Barcelona was a great time just because it brought us back to basically like 18th year of just basically all sli- uh, sleeping in the same bed, like four dudes. Like four or five views, nice. just all chilling, waiting to go to practice the next morning. But yeah, that was some good stuff right there. I, I always tell kids that club volleyball is like the most pure time to like play ball because there's no there's no money involved really. Like you're not being paid. You're not there's no uh, like pressure coming from the university. You don't have to like there's not a whole lot of stuff that you have to worry about. Just you go and enjoy it and you practice a couple times a week. And uh, the group of guys you're playing with, they're like your best friends. Not. Uh, Obviously, when you go to college, you have, you, become, you have new best friends. But the the club volleyball scene is, like, always the most fun just because, like, I, I had, like, such great memories on the group. And every weekend we were doing stuff like that. We were just going – and we would all stay in one house. And we'd all crash, like, in the same bed. we just go do dumb stuff all the time. And that was always uh, – so, yeah, like, like you were saying, the, the time in Barcelona over Christmas for sure, for sure a good uh, kind of throwback to those days absolutely yeah brought back some real sweet memories and like totally agree with what you're saying like I'm still in touch with some of the NBBC guys that you know, I grew up playing with when I was like 13 14 years old and obviously still kicking it with you guys abroad <laughs> uh even now so yeah I couldn't agree with you more about that well Avery so 
Avery is a very, very knowledgeable person. He is great on the unlike each. Unlike, unlike me, I'm just, I'm just spewing <laughs> again, polar opposites. <laughs> I'm spewing facts. Just oh, <laughs> just look at look look at how we're dressing. Just, you can just tell. Um, so we want to have Avery back on the show, hopefully for a longer segment, right? And not not just talk about birthday boy over here, but talk about life over overseas. <laughs> you know, when it comes to health and and diet and just anything along those lines of just professional volleyball and taking care of your body as well. So we will be having Avery Ellsworth back on the show at a later date, but we just kind of want to have him on now because we knew he had some great stories. He's a great friend of ours and just, just kind of embarrass Joe a little and, and prove my point that he has changed a lot since high school. But He's Avery, a wild child nowadays. Avery, thank you so much for joining on the show. You have been more than helpful and more than fun on the show. The people will be seeing you soon and shoots my brother. <laughs> shoots boys. Okay. Joined here by Jack. Eisner, the slide monster, already day drinking, having a good time, living life in Hawaii, a teammate of ours since we were 16 years old, went to Camp Lano, same high school as us, Jack, probably actually, probably Joe's best friend, but Jack, how we doing, man? Good, got a little bit of late start this morning, it's a little bit past 9.15, I usually start, <laughs> like start my day about 8.45, but everything's good, it's a nice warm, sunny day, and uh, going to go on a hike soon, it's going to be nice. Are you, are you going to head home soon or all, at all, or no? Uh, yeah, probably soon. In, in the next in the next few weeks or so. But you, you, yeah, we, was, you've been in Hawaii for how long? I saw you. I've been in Hawaii for about three and a half months now. <laughs> now let let the people know that you still are in college. So so, but you're somehow getting your work done. So I mean, yeah, everything's online. So the the coronavirus thing kind of worked out for me in that sense. So we okay. get to do all my, all of our work online and live in a pretty cool spot for a while. Yeah, not bad, not bad. So, so we bring you on the show to kind of embarrass Joe. I told you, okay, prepare a story. Um, is there any like a story you'd like to share with the birthday boy over here for the fans out there? Oh boy, there's too many. Um, for those who don't know, Jack and I were best friends since like high school. I met him in high school, and then since then we were up to no good always. <laughs> we were, yeah, I mean, there's there's always the fireworks stories. <laughs> we were, we were on with Avery before this, and we we're like, yeah. Uh, we were talking about how we're just running with the cops like every weekend, just like <laughs> with the basically like, mortars and stuff. There's always the fireworks stories. There's the Kai stories too. Hanging out oh, in the land of Troy, obviously. <laughs> uh, uh, that one time, you remember when this is I don't know two years ago. We were flying those drone your your new your new drone, your dad's drone. Oh and then my we god! Had that the little Star Wars drone. <laughs> Yeah, that literally I mean, flew away into Neverland you, and has never been seen since. So, so all right, so I, so I came up with a video about a year or two ago. Basically, I added some cool shots, and Jack and Joy joined me on this on this place, and we were going to, to Mount Diablo. Mount Diablo is the highest peak in what the Contra Costa County in the entire Bay Area. The entire Bay Area. It's, it's the highest mountain. It's one of right? the only places you can see the ocean and snow from. I guess yeah. supposedly on a clear day, you can see Tahoe and you can see the bay yeah and so so joe uh so so i just got a drone about two days earlier and so so we have so i'm like okay i want to get the shot here but i have to fly the drone and i i own a vw bus no you had to drive you had to drive the car oh yeah i had to drive the car and i'm like joe this is a super simple shot we're gonna turn <laughs> and i put about 50 maybe like 100 yards out there still very visible and it's a drone very powerful so i'm turning so basically i'm, I'm driving the car i'm like joe i want you to track this drone and not that was kind of like a forest on the way up kind of like that there's a bunch of bushes and it's kind of raining outside but the drone was fine <laughs> and i had joe here and i was like all right joe i want you to fly it and joe he didn't trust me Joe, yeah, yeah, I should have. I probably should have trusted you. And Joe literally flies it straight through the bushes, <laughs> and it's on ten percent battery. So what I have to do? I have to park the car. I have to run down the hill, grab the drone, find it, and then just like do all the mud. And he lost it, and he's like yelling at me. He's like, "It's not the my drone." Time, <laughs> Joe and I don't help. Joe and I are just talking shit about Gage the whole time <laughs> about how he's trying to scale the side of a mountain. <laughs> You're almost there, Gage. Keep going. He was so mad at us, dude. He because he flew my out. drone into the bushes. We didn't even get it. You're like, I'm not getting that. I'm like, yeah, what do you mean? You just flew it was it. raining. It was hazardous. Oh, you're right. And then you're like, Gage, get some of these shots. And then afterwards, like, take this picture. Take this cool picture. <laughs> Post on Instagram. Like, Jesus, man. It, it was very <laughs> foggy. Wait, yeah, that was, I, oh, hey, Max, what's going on, bro? Uh, I know you're creeping in the dark back there. Oh, not much to say. You guys are talking all about Joe in high school, man. I didn't know him. <laughs> 
<laughs> another yeah. another one of my one of my my Joe stories was we were in Anaheim for SCVA. Uh, <laughs> and we were kicking a soccer ball or we kicking a basketball. Basketball, basketball. <laughs> And it so happens that I kicked the basketball through some 90-year-old woman's window. <laughs> and Joe didn't – Joe just ran away. <laughs> Dude, he, that he, you he ran with me. We <laughs> both ran. I went, I went straight to the lobby desk. I was like, look, lady. No, you did not. Just, okay. You just did just not the ball, go to the lobby desk. the ball through this old lady's, <laughs> old lady's window. That is not me. true. That is so you. That is all – every time I grow up, and it's like, Joe oh, Gage, go away. get that ball. Dude, like, Gage, Jack don't run naked over there. Not Joe always runs lobby. away and suffers. So Joe lie. ran away. <laughs> Joe ran right to the elevator. I'm not doing with Roger. See ya. <laughs> Dude, I did. Joe, you, you ran right with me. You were right behind. You might have been in front of me. <laughs> Dude, Joe, I was not. That is, that's always, always, oh, I don't get in trouble with this. Joe would never, like, say, if a ball were on the floor, like, when we're peppering for in a tournament or whatever. He'd run the opposite way, and you look like the only person. Run the opposite. He would. He just kind of duck. Maybe look the other way. Yeah, look the other way. Oh, run the other such, way. Such, such a, oh, you know what I'm saying? Read between the lines here. When it comes to that kind of stuff, you always try and throw people under the bus when it comes to that situation. Yeah, he just left me to fend for myself. I'm just <laughs> dealing with this 90 year old woman. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> you deal were, with the, with a double the, the shotgun. The entire yes. home health no. staff. Oh. And, of course, like the fourteen-year-olds go to ask for a basketball. Oh, we can't let you have basketball because your friend kicked it through a window. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Do you have any? Is there anything from from practice? Avery had a, had a really good story from the 18th year. Is there anything from practice with my dad? Any funny stories? Do you remember? What was what was Avery's story? From my birthday. What, what is? <laughs> oh, okay, birthday boy. But <laughs> I was no on my 18th birthday, whatever. There's there's a lot of funny things that happen in practice. <laughs> the the notable thing was our 17th year when Dippin, God bless his soul, <laughs> lovely. He's our assistant game. coach. Dippin was our assistant coach. <laughs> he just started chucking balls at us because we weren't <laughs> we weren't behaving. <laughs> and Joe's in the back antagonizing everything, but not really doing anything. <laughs> Like, yeah, Sean, go do this. Go do this. Donnie, go do this. Go do this. Uh, you guys take the blame. You guys get the ball chucked at you. I'm just going to sit here on the side. Yeah, you guys go in there. Yeah, I, dude, that's I ain't so taking you, out. dude. That's so you. Joe oh, is – Joe, although he never really got in trouble, he was secretly the shit to Instigator. He is. In everything. All the time. Even, even when Fernando was young, I always instigated with Gage. I knew – I always know how to get under his skin. And as Joe has gotten older and older – he gets a little bit more devious, a little bit more confident Wiser. in his See, in, in his in his abilities change. to start shit. And so now he just like will say two words to somebody, knows exactly what sets him off, and then it all spirals down here. And then oh, Joe's still over here on this little pedestal. Joe's good. <laughs> That's <laughs> true. Oh, tell boy. me the last time something like that happened, Gage. You got exposed like that? Or you get exposed? <laughs> no, no, no. Tell, no, tell me the last time that I. Said something and so all the time when it comes to like on the camera stuff, when it comes to on the camera, you're like, Oh, Gage will do it because he is a less he is oh Gage, you oh I'm not gonna do this. Oh Gage, you go do that. You go do that, stupid. Anytime, Gage will do any, it. Gage anytime will do we have it something dumbass. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Anytime we have something like risky, like, ah, oh, Gage will do it. <laughs> we'll do Gage, it. No, you should Gage hear has got it. When we're talking to other people, he's like, Oh yeah, oh yeah, we're oh we'll definitely be doing that. We'll definitely be doing that. <laughs> I'm just in the background, like Joe's not gonna be doing any of this stuff. I'm like, this is me, he's like Oh, for sure. Yeah, he's got it. He's got it. You know, sure. another perfect example of this was we were seniors in high school. Myself, Joe, and Michael Standring were like, let's go drive on the grass like it was dark. <laughs> Dude, I was right behind Joe, you guys. Joe doesn't get in the car. Joe just sits in the passenger seat with Michael. <laughs> so if, we, if, if anybody gets in trouble, it's me and Joe. Or it's me and Michael. Joe's like, oh, just a little passenger. I'm like, oh, my car broke. Passenger. Dude, dude, they were doing donuts in the front of the field on their campus. And of, of course, Joe doesn't go and do that. Not a shocker. That I was with them. That's true. You're a He was with us. That's a you weren't with them. I, you I, sat out. No, I wasn't. My Gage senior probably, year. No, yeah, Gage, you were a Julie or some shit. <laughs> You're throwing it back there. You're throwing it back. Um, <laughs> and we're oh, back. We're back. <laughs> Max, so so those are some good stories. Um, those are our good friends. Uh, still very, very close to them. Since, I mean, childhood. I mean, since childhood, we've been good friends with those guys. 
Mm -hmm. um, it was fun to kind of have him on. Some of our, some of our best guys. And even Max knows him when you came to train. I mean, you, you came and saw them. Um, Max, the boys. You heard all. Yeah. You, you heard. Uh, you've heard what they've had to say. I want to hear. I want to hear your opinion. I'm Joe. I want to hear some funny stories from you in the Hawaii oh, days. Yeah, I want to hear your opinion on them. Yeah, what's the your opinion? Good on. or bad? Like gladiator. Uh, I got I, one story I like about Joe just being a superstitious uh, kind of person. It's just going to do everything in his control to secure that victory for his right. team. Uh, the year before my sophomore year, so my freshman year. Uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right, correct. <laughs> yeah. So uh, one time me and Gage, I think it was before our first home game of the year, me and Gage slept at Joe's apartment. I don't know. We slept in one. Your roommate had an extra bed or something, or he was gone. Or, yeah, you know, and or Gage might have slept with me in my bed. Probably. Gage, Gage might have slept with you for sure. Something like that went down. But we uh, we started doing that, and then we happened to win that game, right? It was we we. I don't want to say it was an easy opponent or something, but we had like a pretty pretty solid victory. Like okay, that was cool, and it was a tournament or something like that. And Joe was like, yeah, you'd probably stay over the next night too, just to be safe. You know what I mean? We want to make sure we keep this roll. We're on a streak. So we're like. <laughs> I guess. I mean, I kind of want to go back to my dorm. I got all my shit, all my stuff there. And uh, Joe's like, uh, well, so you don't care about the team. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm like, not what I said, but, uh, but you're kind of making me feel that way. So that was the tradition for the whole year. We stayed <laughs> before every home game for the whole season. Because if we didn't and something happened, you know who we can play. <laughs> He's coming right after you. Blame Max. Blame Max and Gage, the two people who need to play. They don't care about the team. Yeah. But the thing, sophomore year, though, my, our sophomore year, so the year before my junior year, my sophomore year, <laughs> um, the, uh, that thing that year was he would not make us split a pole. Remember that, Max? And we'd be walking. And oh, then he'd be does. like, yeah, still does. And, and if you split a pole, like if one person's on the other side. You got to go back. Yeah, exactly. He's like, uh-uh. Get back around, get back. He'd be in a rush somewhere, be like, ah, get back, get back. And he'd make us. And uh, there's always something every year. Always something every year. What, what, have you been doing anything in Germany? No, I can't recall that I have, no. But I remember when I was, so I was really young. And I was playing 12, I don't think my brother knows this. When I was playing like U12s, I had to like, <laughs> this is going to be sounding really weird. But I was like, super super like zoned in. i'll have to like sit there like in bed with, like the night before have to clap like 200 times <laughs> <laughs> dude you're like a psycho what joe you're like, you're like a psycho. i never even heard that <laughs> like, i was so like i'm like we have to wait i all i, I just, oh god what i just couldn't think about god. anything else besides the tournament <laughs> I've got, I can top that, Joe. Joe, got thank that. God you found volleyball as an outlet because you would be doing some something insane. <laughs> you dude, have that? They, oh, yeah. man. oh, man, dude. We would have shirts when we were younger. They'd have holes in them all the time because Joe would bite them because he didn't know how to handle, handle his anger. So he'd literally I bite get, shirts and we had holes. If we, like, lost here. something. And I talked about this a couple times on the show. When I, when, when I was younger, I handled losing so bad and I would just get so mad, like, it would just piss me off so much. And yeah, I would like bite my shirts and we had like holes in all of them. I could uh, You're like I only did 198 claps. Like, <laughs> I, Joe, I think I, uh, this is going to be probably my biggest idiotic moment and people are probably not going to believe me. But um but I'm going to I'm going to tell you guys something here. Um I can talk to you on that story, Joe. I think about sleeping. So when I was younger, I uh uh for some reason I didn't know how to fall asleep. So I'm not kidding. I would go to bed and I had my eyes wide open until I just magically just fell asleep. Like, it wouldn't, like, resonate with me, like, to close my eyes. <laughs> so for two years straight, I'd be up, like, dang near, like, all night just with my eyes like this. Because I didn't know, for some reason, like, I, I know, like, it's a biological thing, but for some reason, I didn't know how to fall asleep. So I'd try and just, I'd sleep in bed like this. And then I'd wait for somehow to magically kind of close my eyes, I guess. But it just wouldn't resonate with me. Just close your eyes. We got any viewers that are just seeing the show right now? And this little, <laughs> this little square that I'm seeing of you two talking about you can't sleep because you got to clap or because you don't know how to close your eyes. Or <laughs> then they're going to think you're nuts. So, to clarify the fan. The I think fans, it's an accurate representation. What did you say? It's an accurate representation of us. It's For sure. We're, word is always just wired. The, uh, before, I, before Gage shines us off here, again, if, if you're hearing it just now, you're probably too late because you probably already got a message. But this shirt, if you DM out of system, if you recognize where this shirt is from, 
the movie. It's my favorite movie of all time. DM it to our account. I'll send a little gift. There's a, a little bit of merch that I'll send. Uh, and first one to do it wins. So, but like I said, if you're hearing it now, it's probably too late. <laughs> Guys, your, your favorite movie as a hint is might be too much for some people. You know what I mean? It's, it's a well-known sure. fact. What your favorite movie is. If you haven't already, please, please, please do us a favor. Subscribe below. Um, it helps us a lot. It helps us a lot. So make sure, again, subscribe. And we've had a great time kind of reminiscing with old friends here and, and hearing Max's uh, stories on Joe and, and superstitions. Um, I got to cook him dinner tonight. We'll see how that goes. We'll get back yeah, to you on that. Yeah, that's not happening. What kind of pop I am. I am. I got to talk to you. Okay, guys. This has been extremely fun. This has been another episode of Out of System.